It's called Rastigan. 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 Yeah. We were close. We were close. Yeah. If we had combined what you were saying, Radagast, and me, Rajasthan, yeah. we were we were basically there. Uh, but hi, everybody. Ra- Rastigan. Rastigan. All right. It's Rastigan. Um, I need to figure out what settings are wrong with my recording software so that every time I click back into the program, it doesn't give you guys a black screen for like a second. Sorry about that. Don't know why it's causing that. It wasn't doing that in an earlier you're, episode. It's because you're in full screen mode. Problem solved. <laughs> you can adjust your settings in the game, by the way. Oh. Well, there we go. Problem solved. Um, ooh, I can move it. Yeah. Sorry. I just got really excited. <laughs> yeah, if you go into settings, uh, you can switch it from full screen to window and back and forth. Uh, so, uh, brief developer QA, um, Miri, is there plans for a windowed borderless option? Yeah, I can do that super easily. Yeah, because windowed borderless would be super cool so that it could be full screen, but the people won't have this bar at the top. Yeah. Windowed borderless is my preferred way of running. You know the best way of making a request like that? Oh, you mean maybe if people were to join our Discord? If they joined our Discord, there's an entire channel dedicated to giving requests. You mean like a suggestions channel? And you know what else is really cool? What, Mary? A huge portion of the suggestions that players have made already are actually actively in the system now. Wow, you mean like we have testers in the Discord? Smile at Mary and tilt your head. What I mean is that when you make a request, it's actually heard and a lot of times, most of the times, implemented. And we're both in there regularly. I work from home, so I'm basically on Discord 24-7. And and, I work on this. And she works on that, and we are constantly in there to hang out, talk with you guys, hear suggestions. We post screenshots. Uh, We have... There are uh, other players that are currently testing out the custom content. Yes. Creation and are putting up their models and things like that, which yep. is pretty We cool. had somebody make a cup. They made a little glass, uh, like a candle holder kind of looking thing. I was thinking it was like a like an old school like, oh, like whiskey the, tumbler. Yeah. Like you know they see in those. I can see those. that. And, and I, I think there was a uh, a chair that they had made yeah. or something like that. Also, shout out to Fantastic Samtastic for being our first, first tester. Yep. Yeah. Our first reviewer. Thank you for that, Samtastic. Fantastic Samtastic. Who has their own, actually, because they are so helpful, like other people could be. <laughs> and hence. <laughs> and hence. They guys. even have their own kind of uh, shout out model in the system that you could. Yeah, uh, it's. Use. I will show everybody, right? Right here, right here. Right here. Yeah. They have their own model that we made just for them. It's the Sam. It's the Sam. Yep. Who knows? Maybe if you join our Discord and are active participant and stuff like that, you will get your own custom model to insert jingle here and end ad read. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to Dungeon 3D's actual play, guys. When we last left off, Miri and her her band of merry men made it to the uh, village of Snarflat. Uh, the outpost of Snarflat, sorry, um, and um, we're on our way to continuing with the uh, journey uh, through the Underfen and being able to uh, get to the cave on the other side to continue their journey to Rajasthan. Um, and uh, they had just settled down for a quiet evening and things were um, just kind of winding down, and they had set up some tents and some bedrolls for everybody, and it was just a nice, quiet, calm evening. Until it wasn't. Oh god, what happened? So, in the middle of the night, um, there's a, there's a, there's a sudden sudden screech. Did it get dark? I don't want to make it too dark. That's fair, yeah. Okay. Um, here, I will I will do this so that there's... Uh, we'll, 
Oh my. Oh, that's too dark. I like you see the stalactite uh, shadows above yeah. them too. There we go. That's fine. Yeah. Um. There's a scream in the night. Actually, I don't like that because you know, we I... can turn on our lights too if you want. Oh, I guess like well, it also doesn't matter. You could do blackout, but then that would be dark for me. <laughs> yeah. Here, um, do it however you like to do it. Let's do this. Whoops. Here, this way, yeah, go ahead and turn on your light and put it on like <laughs> I don't need to because I can see yours. Oh, okay. Because you're the DM, so I can Right, right, right. You only need one of them to have a light on. You don't need both of them to. There we go. So we'll just do that. Is that okay? That's Yeah, I would turn Garfield off so that you just have Renfers. Garfield doesn't have a light on. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just Renfers. Okay. With his pure, perfect, beautiful little square of light. But anyway, there's a scream in the night as uh, one of the uh, the Swerf Neblin bursts out of his tent and suddenly pitches forward, and there's a black arrow shaft sticking out of his shoulder. Oh my god. As he reaches out. Oh no! Mira will run to him and pick him up. No, little guy, don't give up. Quick, does anybody have a potion? <laughs> can I, can I do, can I do a medical check on him or whatever? Sure. Let me see what my my medical stuff is. I want to save him. I've been getting to know these little dudes all night, you know. Uh, what what is it now? It's uh heal. Yeah, I think it's heal. Would be a heal check. Okay, I have one point in that. So just D twenty plus one. Yes. Oh no, I got a three! Oh, you are not a Renfer, Garfield, somebody! <laughs> Mary's just holding this little body, somebody help him! Oh god, there's drought suddenly. Shouldn't they be like more of a purpley color? Oh jeez. Oops. You could also just copy paste them. If you wanted. I could, yeah. So many options. <laughs> it's like there's customization. Oh no. Yeah. Um, she's gonna hand the little guy off to somebody who looks competent. And hopefully they can help him somehow. And hopefully they can help him. Yeah, she's not just gonna give up on somebody like that. What is this, a video game? <laughs> this would be like, oh, the NPC died, who cares? No, this is a person. A stupid NPC this with is, stupid... Yeah, this is a person. She, she wants him to have a chance to live, so... Live! He's just not a, a healer. And as Miri looks up and hands this off, one of the others for Nablin is like, Shh, hold on, buddy, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, Jerry. Oh no, poor Jerry. Um, and out of the darkness, uh, step to be uh, what looks to be four drow. Um, three of them ha holding long bows with these kind of long ponytails, males, men, uh, in these tight ponytails, and in the back, a female drow with a, uh, a mace and a shield in her hand, and from her neck dangles a, uh, amulet with the symbol of wolf. Oh, so it looks like they all have bows for... Yes. Okay, lols. I mean, that's pretty typical for drow. Yeah. Um... Is anybody in the village, because Mary doesn't want to just take over these, you know, she wants to give them respect. Is anybody addressing them or saying anything, or does anybody, has anybody stepped up, basically? Uh, no, they're, they're, they're all panicking. The ones that are awake are panicking, and the, and the woman 
uh, is is dragging one of the Swerf Neblin <gasps> by the by the by the by the scruff, and she tosses him forward. She kind of just can I catch him? him. She totally, she only tosses him like right there. Oh. And he kind of just lands on the. He's not. He doesn't land deafened on the ground. No. Kind of lands on the ground with a squeak as he hits the ground, and one of the drow knocks an arrow and just loses it right next to the I, the Swerf Neblin's head. Can I roll like a rock or something to try and throw the drow's head off? Or he's something? not shooting at him. He's shooting right next to him. So it's, it's a it's a threat. Uh, Miri is. You just looks at Garfield, and she's like, "Let's go, let's get him." He's clutching his axe as the woman raises her hand. By order of my people, this village now belongs to the Drow. In our specific city that I can't mention because it's copyrighted. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> These Svervneblin shall be taken back to be to serve our people. And she looks at Garfeld and Miri and he says, What's this? Guests. You shall make a fine prize for the city. Throw down your weapons or meet us in battle. Either way works for me. Would it be considered a surprise attack if I just freaking charge at her? <laughs> no, she's ready for you. Darn it! <laughs> I just want to charge at him. Um, um, yeah, no. Miri ain't having none of that. She's gonna go full blast on him. And she just gives Garfield just a quick nod and just... just rushes at him okay and we are going to see what happens actually you know what before we do that let's go ahead and have initiative rolled okay uh i got a 14. nine seven and 22. don't forget garfield i won't or renford renford yeah it's just kind of people Mary's gonna end up leaving this place with all of the Smurf Devlin with her. <laughs> She's gonna take them all with her. Like, no, they're not staying here. It's not safe. Come coming with me. Uh, Mom's over all of them. You are now my children. You are now my baby. All of you. Alright, what did Mary get? Uh, 14. 14. Garfeld. Wow. Garfield, he was he was half asleep when they got here. That's that's okay. It's fair. Renford, <laughs> be careful, Renford. Good job, Renfield. Renford. Right. Okay. The stage is set. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. And we will find out what happens next time on D three D. Uh.